this area here is the area that you sell into to your clients okay these systems change every 15 seconds by default although that's changeable by what you mark the ad with okay the way you name your ad this area here is for sponsors okay although you don't have to use it for sponsors you can sell it as a premium ad if you like but the model that we have the sponsorship model is you have a system that is for your clients and you have an area for a sponsor that's outside of the location that you're hosting the system for instance this could be hanging in a barbershop or a restaurant or something like that that place would be the sponsor okay normally the sponsor would put a few ads in here maybe he'll have an ad here or two but he wouldn't be the sponsor of the system okay who would be the sponsor somebody outside the building who has paid you to be the the only uh, company that's showing here other than ads that are local to where this system is hosted. His name would also be here. Like for instance, this says sponsored by Social Soundwave. Okay? So Social Soundwave would be the sponsor of this system and you would probably see Social Soundwave ads running. Now notice that music is starting to play here now. I'll have the sound down. When music is playing there or video there will be no ads running in this side. That's why this becomes a premium spot all of, a time, all of a sudden. Because this stays all the time no matter if there's videos running or music running here. Okay? This area here is your call to action, the one that's scrolling. Normally, and this is how we use it, but you can use it a different way if you like. The scrolling area is normally where you would put your phone number, um, your price maybe if you want uh, you know or maybe your website or email address or something like that that would go across here because this is what people are seeing as the call to action down here real tiny which I'm going to actually turn off uh, uh, as we update these you turn this on just more, more for uh, troubleshooting so if you have any issues like if you don't see a picture or whatever it's going to tell you what picture is supposed to be showing here or what ad and it also tell you like uh, uh, when the next time is going to do an update, what version software is running, and all that kind of stuff. So if you have a problem, you can always come here and look and go, oh, okay, I'm running the wrong version, or it's not connected to the internet, or something like that. So we put that in place. Back here is the machine that's actually running. We call this an ad server back here. It's a small computer about the size of a CD case, two, 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 I mean, uh, twice as thick. Uh, it comes with a bracket and it hangs behind the screen. Sometimes it would be out of sight, it could be in the ceiling, whatever, but in this case we have it uh, sit behind the screen. This is a standard digital television that has an output that goes to the TV. It has sound that goes to the TV. Remember years ago, I was telling you that you have sound the machine and we'll use it sometime and now we're going to be using it. Because now when you run video or audio, I mean, uh, or uh, music, you can utilize the system's audio. Uh, to output um, the sound. Now another thing is you can do is you can take that output because this has two outputs. It has an output for the speaker, it has another output, an external. You can actually tie it to an amplifier system and use this system as a jukebox. Okay? Uh, or some places might just run it as their um, entertainment for the location. Okay? Any questions on that so far?